going to start down on our back, soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Again, today is yin. So if you have a bolster and a block, that's wonderful. If you don't, that's also okay. It's fine to stay on the mat. And I'm going to ring the gong first. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. 
Inhale, those knees and arms to center. And again, let's go ahead and exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Again, opening up those right obliques, releasing toxins as we do. Deeper stretch if you're on your bolster and your block. And smile, it's Tuesday. Lots of rain here in the valley, which is very exciting. Slowly inhale back to center and then exhale knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over your left shoulder and breathe. Again, opening up those left obliques as you do, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale back to center. And then exhale as you roll over onto your right side in the field position. Remain here for a few breaths. Breathing in and out. And then slowly up with your hands take your bull or your block and then your bolster out from underneath you and roll over onto your backs once again again bring those knees in give yourselves a hug rock back and forth maybe grab opposite elbows and smile again it's Tuesday We're going to go ahead and do um, <clears throat> Happy Baby. Again, grabbing our insteps, dragging our knees down towards our shoulder blades, pushing up with our feet, pulling down with our hands, dragging those shoulders back and down, maybe rocking back and forth, touching first one knee and then the other to the mat. we're going to go ahead and inhale first as we come back to center. Exhale as we extend that right leg. Again, this is half dragonfly. You can either hold on to your instep. This is a deeper stretch or you can grab on to your big toe with your index finger and thumb. And again, either way, Dragging that right shoulder as well as your left shoulder back and down, breathing in and out, in half dragonfly. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Again, drag your left shoulder back and down. We're in half dragonfly. Maybe take your in index finger and thumb, wrap it around your big toe. <clears throat> and again, breathing in and out in half dragonfly. Inhale back to center, exhale as you extend both legs, dragging those shoulders back and down, breathing in and out, in full dragonfly. Yeah. 
Inhale, back to center again. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Good job. <clears throat> Inhale first. Exhale as you extend those legs down below you. We're going to move into Matsyasana. Inhale as you push those hips up, placing the palms of your hands on the mat underneath your buttocks. Lock those elbows in. Exhale first. Inhale as you push into your elbows. Coming up on the crowns of your heads. Again in Matsyasana, fish pose. Breathing in and out, opening up that area between your rib cages, opening up your sinuses, increasing immunity as you do. And again, let's go ahead and do three lion's breaths. We're inhaling through our noses, exhaling as we stick out our tongues. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Inhale as you push into your elbows, coming back onto the backs of your heads. Exhale as you release your hands. Good job. Bend your knees. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. <clears throat> Good job. Inhale as you place your interlaced fingers around that left thigh. Flex your foot. Exhale as you extend your leg. Again, sorry, this is left thigh. Drag those shoulders back and down. Keep both hips down as much as possible. Again, breathing in and out. If this is in your practice, maybe grab onto your toes or use a strap, dragging that leg closer to you. Wherever you are is perfect. And smile, it's Tuesday.
Let's slowly inhale back to center. Extend your right leg. Grab onto your left foot with your right hand. Allow your left hand to fall down towards the floor of the mat with gravity. And exhale as you allow that left leg to fall over to the right as far as you can. And again, <clears throat> you maybe use your block or your bolster. We're working towards dragging that left hip back and down, but of course you can't drag it back down to the mat, but that's the motion that we're moving in. Breathing in and out. inhale back to center exhale as you draw those knees in for a hug good job place the soles of your feet on the mat once again knees are up inhale as you place your hands around that right thigh interlace your fingers flex your foot Exhale as you extend your leg, again dragging those shoulders back and down, flexing your foot, keeping both hips on the mat. You can either be here or you can grab onto your toes, dragging them down towards you. You can also use a strap if you have one, if this is in your practice. Again, if you're using a strap, make sure that you are not pulling too hard. Be gentle with yourself. Breathing in and out. Thank you. 
here. Extend your left leg. Grab onto your right foot with your left hand. Allow that right hand to fall down to the right side with gravity. Your palm is down. Exhale as you drag that right leg over to the left as far as you can. Again, I may be using a bolster or a block if you'd like to. You're dragging that right hip back down towards the mat. Of course, it can never get there again, unless you're incredibly double jointed. Breathing in and out. just above your root chakra. Maybe close your eyes, concentrate on your third eye, and then start to breathe deeply, concentrating on the breath as you breathe in, breathe in through the nose. As you breathe out, use straw breathing, so making a small circle with your lips to breathe out more slowly. Gently going within. Allowing whatever may be bothering you to disappear. And again, it's always better to be elevated same, the same way as we have our bolster in yin. Have a pillow to sit up on when you're meditating is always easier, less difficult on your root chakra, less difficult. Being able to be comfortable and aligned, your spine again is aligned directly with the crown chakra. <clears throat>
Let's go ahead and gently open our eyes. Inhale those arms all the way up. Inhaling gratitude for this wonderful rain that we're getting all over the valley. Exhale as you drag those hands back to Anjali Mudra, releasing whatever does not serve you. Inhale those arms all the way up. Inhaling gratitude. And exhale down to Anjali Mudra. One last time, inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale down to Anjali Mudra. Good job. Place your hands on your shoulders. Again, baby bird, we're going 10 times forward and 10 times backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Backward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. I feel so grateful that my shoulder is completely fine now. So I give gratitude to my shoulder no longer having issues, constantly sleeping on it the wrong way with my dogs. Let's go ahead and place our hands on the mat and roll up into table. And in table, we're going to place the toes of our feet together, knees as wide as your mat. Inhale first. Exhale as you draw your hips back towards your heels. Walk those hands forward. Again, we're coming into Balasana, which is child's pose, which with uh, Baddha Konasana knees. Opening up those hips, opening your thighs, opening your shoulders, maybe placing that third eye down, rocking it back and forth, opening up your intuition as you do. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. And then exhale as you extend your legs in front of you. Shake it out. Good job. Let's go ahead and cross your legs, place your hands on the mat and roll up again into table. We're placing our bolster again at the tops of our mats. Placing our hands underneath us. Wrists are just below our shoulders. Our hips are just above our knees. Let's go ahead and curl our toes under. I'm going to go ahead and tuck in my shirt. Inhale first. Exhale back to down dog. Again, this is the first and only down dog of the day. Maybe walking the dog 
lifting first one heel and then the other, dragging the other heel down towards the mat. Again, dragging your hearts towards your thighs, flattening out your backs. Inhale, that right leg all the way up, three-legged dog split, and exhale to the top left of your mat. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back to Royal Pigeon. And exhale as you walk them forward as far as you can again into resting pigeon maybe you're on your left cheek might be on your elbows maybe you're on your right cheek wherever you are you're opening up that right hip releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there breathing in and out Again, allowing whatever does not serve you to melt into the mat, into the floor, into the earth below. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming off on that right hip, swing that left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and your right elbow in. Inhale, that left arm up and around. Find your right hip crease and possibly take a bind in the Mariandrasana twist. Again, opening up those shoulders to the side wall as much as possible. Releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs as we do. Inhale back to center, extend your legs and shake them out. And then from here, come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana, again, yogi squat. Placing your hands at Anjali Mudra, all four corners of your feet are growing into the mat. Lift your toes, flatten out your backs, drag your tailbone in. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and exhale down again. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale halfway up. To Arda. Again, Arda Tadasana. Take a giant step back with that right foot. Walk your left foot all the way across to the right. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back to Royal Pigeon. And exhale forward. Again, as far as you can, maybe on your elbows, 
maybe on that left cheek or your right cheek, wherever you are is perfect. You might be on your backs as well with your knees bent. With that left ankle just below your right knee, crossing it under your right knee, interlacing your fingers, excuse me, yes, interlacing your fingers around that right thigh, dragging it in towards you, opening up that left hip releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there breathing in and out Slowly inhale back up again, coming up on that left hip, swing your right leg all the way around, right foot is parallel to your left thigh, bring that left foot in, and that left elbow in, inhale your right arm up and around, find that left hip crease, possibly take a bind if this is in your practice. Drag those shoulders back and down. Open up your hearts to the side wall through the breath. In the Mariandrasana twist, again, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs as we do. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. Good job. <clears throat> and then from here, we're going to be moving down on our backs. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Knees are up, arms are out on either side. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebra by vertebra, down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then from here, place your heels just below your sit bones. Take your block in hand. Inhale as you push those hips up, placing your block underneath your sacrum on the highest, second, or third levels, wherever you are is perfect. And again, keep breathing. You can either stay here or you can walk those feet out in front of you so that you're on your heels. Maybe draw your arms overhead again in a T formation or a mushroom formation, or just stay in a supported bridge wherever you are is perfect. Slowly draw those arms back overhead, walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up releasing the block place it on the lowest level and exhale down with your sacrum on the lowest level of the block and again inhale those legs back up again allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs back down to your brain
Supported leg straight up. Slowly inhale, and then exhale as you bend your knees, placing the heels of your feet just below that block. Inhale as you push your hips up, releasing the block, and exhale down again. Draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. Inhale first, exhale as you cross that right leg over left, wrap your feet, arms are out east and west. Inhale first and exhale as you allow your knees to fall down to the left as far as you can. Look over your right shoulder in a full body twist. Every time I hear this song, it reminds me of the neighborhood that we lived in when we lived in New Delhi. So beautiful. Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind. Give yourselves a hug. Cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first. And exhale down to the right. Look over your left shoulder and breathe. I must say one of the three neighborhoods we lived in in New Delhi. We lived in three different places in New Delhi. So um, I guess we went back a second time and the first time we moved after the first month. So. <clears throat> When we first lived there, we lived very close to WHO, where my dad was living in Maharani Bagh, which is a beautiful neighborhood, but it's very far from where we went to school. And so we'd have to drive back and forth to school every day, and it was just too difficult. So we moved closer to school. Slowly inhale, back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax.
start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and stay dry. And I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you all. So glad that you joined me today. I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell once again.